flanking from behind. Zapper certainly will connect. Dude, if he had gone for two, maybe he could have killed this. Oh my this. god, the friendly fire. The archers, he his own invisible oh, archer wall, like Moon used oh, to do, but it's not quite closed. Yeah, Link can it's get not through. the Moon execution. Oh, oh my god, this is going to backfire so bad. The Grunt is burning all of the archers right now. What have you done, Alice? Oh, he tried to go for the fancy play. Not quite going to work out. Hey, there's just so much for Lynch. Shadow and about to get level 5. Still has a bit of mana to work with. Invon forced on the alchemy. Keeper pulls back, gets level 4 himself. Chim gets ensnared. Alice, to be fair, killed a lot, but he also lost pretty much everything that he had. Here we see the GG. 2-0 for Lin. The favorite convincingly prevails. Yeah, Thunder needs to find a way to kite a lot here, keep spamming those flame strikes, eventually kill all of the army. Neither fountain was cleared. So it's not like Focus could head there and then heal for free. Kodos finally moving in. One of those has got a breaker inside. Blood Mage being targeted. Can he transfer the town portal on time? Ooh. No! He transferred the town portal but lost his hero, so the Archmage will be next and he will go down here. This is it. Is it towers? Is it the shop? Is it just the meat shield? Definitely everything is done. Goes for Stonebolt. Or oh, even Stonebolt level 2, you were right. He was waiting for a TC to maybe try and overextend. Invul is available. Focus moves back with a Torrent Chieftain to make sure he puts some distance between him and the hero. Archmage about to be stomped. Uh oh, 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 chain Get lightning! The portal. Stormbolt level 2 was quite a surprise, but Invisible TC is a surprise as well. Stormbolt, okay, can heal for a little bit, but there's Chain Lightning that is way too much. The favorite prevails. Uh, maybe I was a little bit too much on the Thunder hype train here, but it's GG. And Focus takes map number 2 and advances into the winner bracket final. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Plus 5 Angie on the blade, very helpful. Perhaps good enough to cancel the expo right here. Good stutter stepping, of course. Acid Bob needs another entangle, probably. And he oh, can't escape. There we go. Trades oh. the expansion for the Blade Master. Alchemist was there. Another entangle right on time. And that now is level three. Only one armor upgrade as well on them. And so on. They're still under lots of pressure. Whisk coming in again. Oh. This time, no flank, but just straight up down the middle. Do a lot of burning there again. The Shadow Hunter completely out of mana now. Oh boy, what do you do? Buy a potion of mana, someone is floating in gold. He has to use these items, but of course the Blade Master can't leave these, this fight to go for the shop. There's a double kill, doable. Fall or light gets both of the grunt losers and archer for it. A couple of lightning shields look a little desperate. Mana is rare for these shaman, even though they are on the field for so long. And snare hero focus, but that backfires. Keeps the Blade Master safe thanks to illusions and a heal wave. Level 5 Shadow Hunter, of course, a massive weapon and a great support. As always, respecting these orc forces still, he is microing properly, he's pulling back when he needs to. Alchemist, out of mana now. Wait a minute. So, in finding a lot of kills suddenly, he's got these strong, strong heroes. The hunts are getting decimated by the Serpent Wards. And he might finally be able to force Law Lion back. After all, double level 5 though for Law Lion. Even stronger heal spray now. Wisp wave after wisp wave. How many wisps have we seen? But these don't connect at all. Oh, crit! Invo potion. Heal spray hits him. Blade Master in trouble. Purge! But the arrows to the back, and that's the second Blade Master kill. Thorns are also good. Mana potion for more heal spray. The sustain is crazy. But someone is not giving this up. But there. Someone is giving this up, and Lawlight takes map number one on Tight Hunters. But here we have the fight, and here we have the Wisps, and he, the Kodo is blocking for now. The first one was good, and now they all detonate into the back line. It's the same scenario on map one. Lawlight is just too damn good at this. So, and with such an aggressive move, I would have expected a TP for him to get out if he needs to, but he doesn't have one. And now he's cut back from retreat, because that is where Lawlight is standing. Grow the Beast hasn't even been popped yet. Now it is. Plus five damage on these archers. And so on. Seems to be getting shredded. But supply is still pretty even over here. Everything is... A, uh, the front line is about to drop for both players. This is nine supply on the side of so and about to drop. Invo post on the Blade Master saves him for now. <sighs> oh my. Orc is facing extinction. Now a staff. There isn't even a TP ready here. Let's see if Soin can do it. Being down 10 supply, having lost the main. Again, positioning by Lawlight, just wonderful. Again, the archer is perfectly protected. Blade Master trying to make it into the back. He's got the lightning shield. 
if there's acid bombs, the focus fire is so nuts. One volley is a kill. Yeah, and the Shadow Hunter has basically nothing left. No mana potions, of course, because he lost the main building earlier. Also, no clarity. He's completely out of mana. There's going to be no more healing. And look at the Keeper Experience bar. It's getting very close, Neil. It's getting very close. Tranquil Times about to start. And oh. all yeah, hit me with all that healing. Oh, and level six, do we see a transmute? Nope, but we do see the winner. These creeps doing no favors to Sock, but he's got the two level lead. Mana on the Priest of Fortitude looking really bad. He's not gonna have that much Dispel to work with. It's just way more breakers. Six breakers versus only four, a lot of them are already hurt. Stormbolt flies, MK threatened. Getting burned quite a bit, but he will survive. And now watch Elemental Ping Pong. As you said, going both ways. Stormbolt on the AM, trying to force the CP out of the first hero. That should work. A bash could be scary. Stormbolt on the other side. AM, he's been given the invul. And that's the MK actually going down for the Chinese. MK now, TP transfer. Oh, he survives. Invul, invul over, but not getting focused. And that's Ooh. a great save by Saki. Makes it back home with only almost 50 supplies still left. And that's the GG, just like that. Sock can remake those units though. And now we see finally the Korean closing this out, man. This was a pretty sick game. 42 just yeah. can't remake any units anymore. And Sock, he kind of lost that fight, but he could make units again, which made the huge difference. MK, even with Kazmodan, cannot win this one. Only one or two breakers and one priest left. Scratch that. No breakers anymore. GG called and the 2-0 victory for Sock.